us. So what I want to do is I want people to start looking at our own planet because, you know, like I said at the first, I started looking into UFOs and I went back and I said, what's missing? You know, what, why, are we, why are we continuing to argue over little squigglies in the sky? We're continuing to do this. Well, the CIA decided they were from outer space. So if people want to believe they know what they're talking about, fine, they're from outer space. Now, I'm not saying that there are not people who are beings who could come from outer space because I'd be stupid to say that. But here's some evidence. Thousands of them are seen. Thousands of them are seen in our atmosphere every year. Thousands of them. Okay? Number one, we send up a rocket to the moon or whatever. We spend a lot of money doing it. Now, maybe these beings that live, you know, in a galaxy far beyond don't have money, but they've got something that they have to exchange value for what they're doing. So why are they paying to send thousands of of flying saucers, or as everybody calls them, UFOs, which is a government word. Why are they paying all this money to send them here just to fly around our planet in our atmosphere? Have you ever noticed there's never been a scientist come out and said, wow, I've seen them coming in my telescope from way far away. No, even the ones that have been shown on TV taken from the shuttle are always below them in Earth's atmosphere, always. They're always seen in Earth's atmosphere. The metal, the metal that's found. Metal has been found in Ubu, a lot of them. But what happened was UFOlogists said, well, if they're all earthly components, they can't be from outer space. Yeah, they're earthly components, but every scientist and every study has always said, yes, but we do not know how it was put together with our modern technology. But UFOlogists say, well, they, well no, all them, all them minerals and all, that's all earthly minerals, so it can't be a UFO. So we don't even need to study that. Instead, let's look at a star up there and, and, and say, wow, what is that moving around? And, and, and unfortunately, that's the direction that UFOlogy has gone. But it's been led into that direction from Project Sign. You can read this in the Condor Report. They tell you how the CIA stepped in and said, look, we need to ridicule this whole idea and get people not to think about it. But what about the people that see them? What about the people that become believers in it? Well, we'll tell them they're from outer space and they'll keep looking up in the sky and they'll find nothing. And that's what's going on. I know, you know, I might sound like a 